All right, so Julian Assange shows uh, psychological torture symptoms, says the UN expert. A UK government urged not to extradite WikiLeaks co-founder to the US, where he faces decades in prison. Julian Assange is showing all the symptoms associated with prolonged exposure to psychological torture and should not be extradited to the US, according to a senior UN expert who visits him in prison. Uh, Niels Menza, who's probably going to have a car accident over the next few days, UN Special Rapture on Torture, is expected to make his appeal to the UK government on Friday. It comes after Assange, the co-founder of WikiLeaks, who said by his lawyer to be too ill to appear by video link for the latest court hearings case on Thursday. Assange has been moved to the health ward of Belmarsh Prison, London, where he has been serving a 50-week sentence for skipping bail while fighting extradition to the US. He is accused of violating the Espionage Act by publishing secret documents containing the names of confident US military and diplomatic sources. Which, at the end of the day, is really, really, really funny because they couldn't prove that any of the information that he leaked actually put any of the soldiers or anybody in danger. And they actually went to great lengths. I, I want to actually push back on that. I don't think... He could. Uh, he published secret documents, but did they contain names of confident US military and diplomatic sources? Like, hmm... I don't know about that. Um, after meeting Assange earlier this month, the company for the medical experts who examined him, Meza will say on Friday that he fears that Australians' human rights could seriously be violated if he's extradited to the US and will condemn what he describes as the deliberate and coherted abuse afflicted for years on him. So Assange was arrested in April after Ecuador revoked the political asylum and invited police inside the court, the country's Nightbridge diplomatic premises. I'm getting some sort of audio. Um, okay, that was weird. I had some sort of audio come through. Alright, um, so, uh, Assange was arrested in April after Ecuador revoked his political asylum and invited police inside the country, Nightbridge diplomatic premises, where he had sought refugees in 2012 to avoid extradition to Swedish over allegations of sexual assault, which he has denied, which is not entirely true. He actually went through and seeked asylum because he feared the Swedish court case would be used to extradite him to the US. Sorry guys, I'm getting some sort of audio, but I can't find where it's coming from. I can't find where the audio is that's coming through, so sorry about that. Um, so yeah, he was actually, he seeked asylum in the Ecuadorian embassy because at the end of the day, um, he feared there was a linchpin to getting back to the US. So, yeah. Uh, physically, there were elements, but aside the things that have been addressed by the prison's health services, there was nothing urgent or dangerous in that way, Mezzer said. What was worrying was the psychological side of his constant anxiety. He was... Paratable that he had sense of being under threat from everyone. He understood what my function was, but it's more that he was extremely agitated and busy with his own thoughts. It was difficult to even have a structured conversation with him. Mezel said that the Belmarsh was an old prison and had had issues about that 
but he described it as well maintained, adding the characteristics of a Supermax or the Guantanamo Bay of Britain were unhelpful. Okay, I think I found it. That fixed up. Sorry guys, I'm still getting some of this audio coming through. Ah, here it is. Okay, wrong tab. Sorry, let's keep going. Okay, I found it. It was the wrong, wrong window. Um, but okay, um... So, Mensah said that the Belmarsh was an old prison and had issues about, about that, but he described it as well maintained, adding the characteristics of a Supermax or Guantanamo Bay of Britain was unhelpful. While it does have a high security wing, Menza said that Assange was not in that section. A lawyer, the lawyer who received 10 to 15 requests each day from sources asking for him to get involved said that his office had been approached by Assange's lawyers in December, but he said that he was initially reluctant to do so, admitting he was affected by what he called the prejudice around the case. However, he began looking into the case in March, and earlier this week, wrote a letter to the Foreign Minister of the US, the UK, and Sweden. Uh, in the course, of course of the past nine years, Mr. Sange has been exposed to persistent, progressively severe abuse, ranging from systematic judge, uh, judicial prosecution and arbitrary confinement in the Ecuadorian embassy to his oppressive isolation, harassment, and surveillance inside the embassy and from deliberate collective ridicule, insults and humiliation to open investigation of violence and even repeated calls for his assassination. This girl will say on Friday. Okay, um... Alright, we'll have a look at it after, man. Um, if you've got a link, can you post it in chat? Yep, no worries, man. No worries, Seth. Um, if you can, post it in the Discord. Um, if you're in there, double K. Um, otherwise, uh, post it in the chat and, um, yeah. Um... Hmm. Post it in the chat if you can, man. Um, copy link. Yeah, okay. So that's actually something we're going to talk about a little bit later. Um... Yeah, Twitter suspends the researcher. Yeah. All right, uh, let's get back to Julian. Um, uh, prosecutors earlier this month announced the 17 additional charges against him for publishing hundreds of thousands of secret dip uh, diplomatic cables and files on the war in Afghanistan and Iraq. At least I got that part right. Judges are impartial and independent from the government with any judge based solely on the facts of the case. I'll tell that to Tommy Robinson. Uh, the UK government spokesman said that the UK has close working relationship with the UN bodies and is committed to upholding the rule of law. We support the important work of the Special Raptures mandate and will respond to this letter in due course. But we disagree with a number of his observations. Yeah, sure you do. So the next court case. So Assange's lawyer, Gwyneth pa uh, Prius, told the hearing on Thursday at the Westminster, uh, uh, Westminster Magistrates Court the next hearing on the extradition request was set for the 12th of June. So that's when we're going to hear about it next. It's the 12th of June. Uh, I'll post a link for you, man.
that should work. Um, so yeah, look at the end of the day. Uh, Julian Assange suffered uh, psychological and physical harm in Ecuadorian embassy, doctors say. Uh, the American doctor who conducted several medical and mental health evaluations of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange inside Ecuador's embassy in London over the last two years says that she believes that he was spied on and the confidential uh, and that the confidentiality of her doctor patient relationship with Assange was violated. Uh, Dr. Sonia Crosby, an associate professor of medicine and public health at Boston University and an expert on the psychological and physical impact of torture, has, eva uh, has evaluated detainees held by the United States, including at its prisons in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. She quietly began meeting with and evaluating Assange in 2017 inside the embassy where he had sought refuge. During the last session with Assange on Friday the 23rd, Cosby said that her confidential medical notes were removed when she briefly left the embassy to get food and to bring and uh, food to bring back to Assange, who she wrote Assange, who she wrote had not eaten. Okay, the notes were then taken from her where she had been evaluating as Assange, and only later discovered in another space used by the embassy surveillance staff. Mr. Assange's right to doctor-patient confidentiality was violated and his confident informant information had been breached, Cosby wrote in March 1st. Affidavit she gave to the United Nations Commissions on Human Rights and the Inner American Commission on Human Rights. In her affidavit, she said that the American notes were presumably read by the embassy personnel. Um, also, the UN torture report demonetized... Uh, demonetized demonized Assange has faced psychological torture uh, the UN special raptor on torture has issued a, a, sing, a stinging rebuke on the United States Great Britain, Sweden and Ecuador for deliberately exposing WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange to years of cruel, inhumane or degrading treatment or punishment which can only be described as such a psychological torture in the 20 years I've worked with the victims of war, violence, and political prosecution, I've never seen a group of de uh, de de democratic strat uh, states ganging up to deliberately isolate, dominize, and abuse a single individual for such a long time with so little regard for human dignity of the rule of law. Oh, thanks, guys. I like uh, RFB, but I like still going strong on the Vegas scroll up. Yeah. Where else did you post that link, man? Sorry, suggestions, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, Satellite's normally on the show. Um, he's just, uh, he has a wee little one at the moment that just needs to feed, and yeah, sad days are pretty hard for him also. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, do I think Assange was being tortured? Yeah, I do. I, I really do. I, I think he's been put through the ringer. Um, I, I think that these reports that the, that he that we've been getting regarding Assange are fairly accurate. Um, am I surprised? No, no, I'm not. But we knew the U.S. was going to go after him. Like, let's face it. Um, I, I'm not surprised one single bit. I'm. I'm I'm surprised that no one's done anything about it. Oh, okay. No worries. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised no one has done anything about it. Um, I'm surprised the UN hasn't jumped up and down more on this um, sort of thing. Someone, uh, I think it was Centaur, was asking me earlier, can the UN do anything about this? 
Probably not. Okay, so if the UN was to do something about this, right, they would have to go through and impose sanctions on the US would probably be their course of action. Good luck getting that passed. Because a lot of the other countries won't bat for Assange over the US. Um, it, it, it really is a case of yeah, I, I don't think the UN can do a lot. They can make recommendations and stuff. And, for example, they can turn around and say to, like, Sweden or the UK or whatever it may be, we 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 reject your application for the US to extradite him. But, yeah. But at the end of the day, whether or not it's actually going to do any good... The, the, the best thing that can go for Assange is Trump. But at the end of the day, whether Trump does it or not, that's another thing too. So I'm kind of disappointed in Trump, to be honest. I would have expected Trump to do something by now. Um, but, yeah, look, I, I know people are saying 4D chess, you know, look, he's waiting for for Assange to get to the US so he can pardon him, and, and I hope that's true. I really, really do. But I do worry that the deep state might have their claws in Trump at the moment, and I think when Trump goes through and gets rid of the deep state and gets them off his back, he might have more room to help Assange, and I think that's what's happening with William Barr. I think William Barr is a way that Trump is countering the deep state. But, yeah... I don't know. It's just, yeah, um, it's disappointing to see that someone who would go through and, 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 and this is the, the problem that I have is, and I'm going to call out all the other YouTubers here. How many other YouTubers are talking about this? How many other YouTubers are going through who sit there on their little soapboxes and go on about freedom of speech? About, you know, the, me rights, me constitutional rights, you know? How many of them are else are going through and and it's talking about Julian Assange right now? Yeah, they might have mentioned it when it first happened because me clicks, me views, whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, the government wants people to memory hole Julian. They, they want people to not necessarily forget, but stop paying attention to it. So they can extradite him, they can stick him in Guantanamo Bay, and everybody will forget all about Julian Assange. And the, and the, the ones that, that do keep going on about Julian Assange, like people like me, for example, who keep going on about that, we're probably going to get called fanatical. Like, oh my god, we're actually sticking up for a journalist and we're fanatical, apparently. That's what it's going to come down to. And, and the problem is, is that a lot of these other YouTubers aren't sticking up for Julian Assange. Because there's not clicks in it. Because at the end of the day, it's not something they actually frigging believe. You know, Sargon. When, when was the last time Sargon made a video about Julian Assange? When was the last time V made a video? And V is more likely than Sargon. When was the last time V made a video about uh, about Julian Assange? When was the last time Ben Shapiro or or Joe, or, or Joe Rogan or any of these guys... When was the last time that Mark Dice, has he ever made a video about Julian? Like... Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I I'm just... I'm so fed up with fake people in this YouTube sphere who will sit there and go on about me principles and... Get on their high horse and, and go on about, for example, freedom of speech and everything like that. But then when push comes to shove, they, you know, yeah. Oh, no. We're not going to talk about this because it doesn't go clear. When was the last time that, you know, Phil DeFranco talked about it? Yeah. Did he cover it today? Let, let's see if Phil DeFranco talked about Julian Assange today. Hang on. Uh, 
Uh, five hours ago. Libya facing huge crisis following civil war. No. Nah, didn't talk about it. Didn't talk about it yesterday. Talked about Cardi B, though. Like, seriously? It, no, the influencer... Bob, look at this. This is what Filter Franco's channel is all about. I'm going to freaking call him out live on air. Look at this. He No, the influencer bubble is not busting. Israel election chaos, which is obviously important. And Disney uh, and Georgia and Cardi B. The very first video he talks about is actually about Cardi B cancelling tours. And about her getting freaking plastic surgery. Julian Assange is in prison right now, running away. But don't worry, Phil DeFranco will be talking about effing Cardi B. Like, holy shit. But anyway. I don't know, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below.